Hey everybody, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan, and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create hard surface asset, which you can find in a weapon designs and mechanical design, etc. So, without further ado, let's get started. To create this design, I have added cylinder with 32 words. Then I need to add chord sphere and decrease its subdivision and give the subdivision somewhere around 2. So we will get this kind of form. Now you need to scale down that chord sphere and move this along the y axis and take it on the border of the cylinder. Then select that center edge loop, add bevel on it with the one segment, add center loop cut and then move this part along the z axis in this way. So you will get this kind of capsule form. You can use the capsule type also for the chord sphere. That's also fine. You can move the words along the z axis and you can adjust its scale. Then you need to select both the objects and you need to use the boolean operation which is difference. Now set the origin to the 3D cursor and shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 90 degree. So we can create that design. And then select everything and shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into 45 degree. So we will get this kind of booleans on that cylinder. Then you can add the loop cuts like this and give the right position to these loop cuts according to those boolean details. You can see here. So it will be easier for us to create that right topology. Then apply that boolean modifier and then delete this cutter objects. And now you can see, now we just need to merge the words. So I'm going to delete some part of the model. So take the symmetry before deleting along the x and y axis. And then you can delete the one third of the model. And here, I'm going to merge the words by pressing M and merge at last. And just try to create that right chord based topology. Then select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Then select everything and shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 90 degree and complete that circular shape then select everything and press M and merge by distance and then take the symmetry along the Z axis and then you can add the sub D modifier by pressing ctrl 2 now I will keep only one boolean detail add there and I will delete the remaining part so I can create that right topology for that only one boolean detail and I can duplicate it and rotate it and I can complete that circular shape so it will be more easier for me to create the right topology for this whole model so that's why I just need to select these faces and I need to delete them. So I will get only this boolean detail and now I just need to prepare the right topology and more details for this boolean. Here you can use the knife tool and you can create this kind of loop structure around that boolean. So we can support that form. Now you can see we got a decent looking boolean detail. Now there are some double words so we need to merge these words. And now we are getting that right face loop. Just take the symmetry along the z axis. And then you can add few loop cuts like this. You can see the form. Turn off that auto smooth. You can add more loop cuts right there. Then you can select these faces and then press Alt S to scale them along their normal and take it a little bit out. Then you can add one more cylinder with the 8 words to create another boolean details. Give the right position to this cylinder. Then you need to select these words, right click connect vertex path and create that edge and then add a bevel on that edge. Then select these words and move them along the z axis. Just create a right form add there, that's it. And then you can use the boolean operation which is difference. You will get this kind of boolean details. Select everything, shift it, duplicate it and move it along the z axis. And create more boolean details add there. Then you can apply that boolean modifier and delete this cutter object and now you need to create the right topology for this booleans so we can maintain their form. So that's why you need to select the words and then connect them and use knife tool to create that right loop structure add there. Here you can select this edge and use the edge slide add there to keep, to keep the same distance between the edge loops and then turn on that sub modifier and see how does your model look. You need to merge the words add here so double words will get merged. And now you can see we are getting the decent looking booleans add there on the model. 
just we need to adjust the position of the words little bit so we will get smooth form at there and you can see the topology at there on the model then you can use the knife tool and you can create a loop structure around this boolean Now we have created the right topology for this one part of that model. Now just we need to go to the rate mode and then shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 45 degree angle and then complete that circular shape. Then select everything and then press M and merge by distance and you will get this kind of cylindrical form with those boolean details. Then select this top and bottom each loop and then press F to fill the gap. And then select everything and extrude along the normal and add a little bit of thickness to this model give the proper offset amount you will get this kind of form that looks really well now you can select the stop face and you can use the insert operation add there use few insert operations and then delete these faces and then select these edge loops and right click breach edge loop and then select these face loops and use the insert operation add there you can take the symmetry along the z-axis then you can add few loop cuts at there and now you can see that's look good you can turn on your matcap view and then check the face orientation if it's wrong if it looks red then recalculate the normal and now our form looks really well now just i want to adjust its proportions a little bit so that's why i am moving this words along the z-axis means i want to increase its height along the z-axis so I can't use the scale tool at there. If I'm going to use that, I will deform the form of those booleans. So that's why I need to move these words manually. And now that's look good. Now I will create the head part of this design. So that's why I'm going to select these faces and then E to extrude them and move them along the Z axis in this way. And, set, and then you can select these H loops and control X to dissolve them. Now just dissolve these H loops. We don't need these H loops. You can add a few loop cuts at there and create those grip or thread design so that's why just you need to select these edge loops and then add a bevel on them then just use the insert operation and then extrude inside and in this way you can create that thread design then you need to add one cube at there and you need to create a quick block out we are going to use this cube to create the cut that slant cut design and then you need to give the right position to this cube adjust its scale by moving the words a little bit and then use the boolean operation which is difference so you will get that slant cut design then you can apply that boolean modifier and delete the cutter object and now you need to create the right topology for this slant cut you can select everything and then press m and merge by distance so double words will get merged and then you can see there are double edges and we need to dissolve one of those edges so to do that first i need to merge the words at there so here you can see i need to merge these words merge these words also and then you can dissolve that edge and then take the symmetry along the x and y axis okay now you can see that's look good and now creating topology is easy just need to connect the words like this And now you can see we need to add more supported loop cuts at there on the model. You can watch the process carefully to understand the topology.
way you can create decent looking hard surface design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then please hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.